Your problem is that you would rather embrace lies and deceit than the truth. Hence you are being enslaved to such things. I will not take my rest until the end is seen. For there are souls that have been redeemed today. Free will offering charity. I test our source of women. You are told to pay your tithe. Day of old, fear their refusal to pay up their tithe, charity, and free will offering, and cure the wrath of God upon themselves. And the come and say, Mamma, and say, Oh, my papa, my papa, Nam Pono, I was going to say, Who call him up? Who took him and for a thousand and a thousand. So, be receive the stranger, be of help, be just and fair to the orphan and to the widow, take care of the poor and the needy, live peaceably with all, flee from fornication, because they are refused because of their refusal to these injunctions, over twenty-three thousand of them died in the day. But what is the situation today? Those things that have prohibited you from these are the same things you keep indulging in. And you keep saying God uh, as God helps you, you help yourself. How is this being done or realized? God helps you by giving you his word and you help yourself by adhering strictly to his words. Baptism educate me. Man, I baptism me. Where by now, I can't leave us. I'm going to go to my car. I'm going to go to my car. Where 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 I'm going to go to my car. Baptism here in brotherhood is but once, be it administered in Lagos or overseas, it is but once. But there are many here in brotherhood who had received upward of five baptisms. Your refusal to receive and hearken to the words that proceeds from the mouth of God has kept you in whatever condition or problem that is in facing you. Jesus said Christ in it and we feel him care. And I'm in this house busy. How confirm people in God. They say that the everlasting gospel is in it. Goodbye. This was told you by our Lord Jesus the Christ, but ye believe not. Now the Holy Spirit is here confirming and affirming all that Christ had said. And he Christians this, the everlasting gospel and the final judgment. If you would not hearken to this injunction, it's goodbye to you. Therefore, put not your trust in man, or hearken, nor seek not the advice of man. 
do not rely on the orthodox churches or they that call themselves Christians or Muslims or any forms of religion for these are all collapsed and all that shall be and is in existence now is this love of one for another. Full stop. Recall the declaration by our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, It is he who receives and practices the word of God. The same is my brother, my sister, and my mother. For you to receive one word of God and practice him, it becomes a spring of living water that overturns you. But when for you for you to practicalize one injunction of God, your life is made full. For you to take out the word of God and go spreading same, your have all things you are in total bliss because wealth, fame, everything is given you. Amen. When you hear his voice and you begin to adduce excuses and trying to uh, uh, find ways of refusing his words, do not adduce any excuse, but recall that he is the one who sends and then he accompanies you. Only put him to test and hearken to his words. What can you What can your biological mother, your biological father, your biological brother, sister, what can man, government, persons, what can they do unto you? But what is impossible with God? So only to avoid back it. I don't want your uncle. Am I going to tell you? And the airport is a young them. If you don't have yet, they stop. Therefore, brethren, it is said that the stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. We do not intend to be tedious with you. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God have blessings for his holy words. Amen.